It's a cash game day. Coming back at 749, picked up about 14 buy-ins in the last two sessions. So doing pretty good. And we're off. And there's about one, two, three, four, five more tables I can get on. Probably gonna stick with six or seven, so you guys won't miss much. What a shocker. Limp call race fold. Awesome play. Ooh, and I'm still rewatching uh, Kenobi. I'm going to get that started. Just on the third episode. Caps on these are so good. Fun fact the girl that gives Ewan McGregor the spice in the second episode is his actual daughter. And he's asking about finding his daughter there. Vader suiting up. so good. Need to show more of the Darth Vader adventures on, uh, uh, god damn it, what was the name of that?
think we like just calling here a lot. Offsuit, I think it's a three bet. one. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but it's also, it needs protection. It's kind of a bad card to bluff at. There's a 20 and L we got. That's nice. silent robot when it doesn't speak who's like totally on their side I forget his fucking name it's another 10 and L I'm going to play it off to the side if anything interesting happens I'll bring it up That's where they are. a great touch having him show seeing Anakin off in the distance it really made him like he's losing his shit He's very short. Um, don't. Th you know what? I'm going to call it. I don't know if it's a great idea to allow him to play perfectly with ace king, ace queen. So, three betting would only accomplish that. I think we're better off just calling here. Um, I mean, I really don't think we can fold. Wow, king 10. That's hilarious. Makes quads. That's great. Well, I guess that was one where I could have three bet.
forgot what everybody was calling second brother whisper wong just constantly whisper yelling Oh, they showed the probe manufacturer. That's cool. I don't think I caught that the first time. Can definitely be up against a better queen here. Ace Jack, wow. What a loser. He totally could have gotten a lot more. That's hilarious. Stop paying this guy. Go ahead and check this. Freck, that was the guy's name. Love Freck. I should never have a three. Even if he re-raises, I don't think I can ever fold here. Because even if he just jams, like he's never going to have 7-8. And he's going to have a lot of two-pair combos. He's going to have a lot of sets. Ooh, gut shot. Open ender. Alright. That's a good card. Yeah, why not? That was easy. Of course, he hit a two-outer to chop. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to go for the check raise here. I love when he hits the king, he then calls off with literal three outs when we chop versus the nuts. Versus me having the nuts. <sighs> well, we're not looking to fold this one. Come on, man. Ooh, two pair. That's not a great card in the turn. Money should go in. Might be up against a better flush draw, but... Not really likely. There's that seven, though. Look at that queen ten. Took that long to call, you deserve to lose. I'll take a gut shot for thirty. Um, this is tricky because the flush draw is so low. I don't like that card. Ooh, really? I didn't think I'd get a free one. Um, let's try downsize a little. Nah, he didn't have shit. Might have had, like, king-queen. 3x. Let's re-raise. Wow. That's not great. But I don't think we fold. Alright. This guy should have ace king a bunch. He's probably going to go broke to this guy. Mm, he's also going to have some hands like jacks. You know, this, this should just be aces, ace king or kings. So that's fine. You got it.
two pair on another table I'm leading. Min raise after a limp or re raise. I'll just keep betting that two pair. It's jack five on jack five, deuce, ace. Pair and a flush draw. Cold call over here and then the call over here. Don't know how often we get zero off of a pair. Yeah, you can have it, man. Because you're walking into a problem a lot of times. <laughs> That's fine. Annoying, but fine. This flop. Do we go for it when we get led at here? I'm gonna call it. Eight on the turn is about the best card there is. So we're gonna hope this player bets again, protecting an ace, ace ten, ace jack. Sometimes ace queen, not often. This can be sixes, I guess, but I kind of really doubt that. So we're looking to put in as much money as possible on this turn. He might not even bet. He shouldn't. I love how they set up Obi-Wan having a brother. Okay, so this is... Bali. Alright, we're off that one. So now this guy leads after a long pause. <clears throat> he can definitely have the case 8, which isn't great for me. This player calls. We're still going to stick with the plan. Check raise. This player cold calls. I don't think I want a diamond just to make it easy. Seven's pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and bet. Should get a call from a lot of hands. Wow, he did not raise me with the fucking nuts. Why didn't he raise that? Unless I have aces, there's literally no hand I can have here. That, oh my god, that's fucking pathetic. And without the full house on the end. Oof. Oh god. Well, he didn't raise at all. Fucking Jesus, that is brutal. Ace on the turn isn't great. We're going to check and call Rivers. He doesn't have to have an ace when he bets, but he does have to bluff when he doesn't. All in. Yeah, this guy likes to do that. That was my note on him, is that he makes crazy overbet bluffs on the river. That was nice. Not that bad. love seeing Obi-Wan doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's pretty awesome. Because he'd have to, because he doesn't have as much uh, force power now. Shoots the stormtrooper while he's, hold while he's holding Leia. Rad move. That card is pretty good. I don't think we want to get all the money in. But we're going to see a lot of 9-10s and uh, hands like mine with a 6 betting. So it kind of depends who bets what. Hmm. 10 jacks a possibility. So I'm just kind of paying attention to the timing. Not the worst. 
do have to fade the river. I wouldn't mind a check jam fold from this guy. I mean, because it's less likely this player has 10 jack, it's more likely he has over pairs and sets. I think we just check. I don't think we accomplish anything by betting. Sometimes it gets checked through and we miss value from two pairs, but we're just going to win outright so often that betting's not going to do anything. Yeah, pocket tens and jack eight. Maybe could have won now because the king came off. Yeah, I think we had to jam turn, but it's just impossible to do. Not impossible, but it's very uh, weak. Or it's a very bad situation to be in. Just because there's there's no real way to know if we're up against 10 jack or 9 6 or 10 6. I'll let that go. Play this one. We're going to get off this one after the double. Check, fold. And we have one more table I'm on the list for. Fold, fold, fold. Love the Empire Defector. Hey, thanks to boss. Yeah, man, it's been going well. Um, I can't say I've made too many sweeping adjustments, although I did write down a few things that weren't working from dropping down to 10 and L. Um, so I... I guess I made some adjustment, but honestly, it's just breaking the uh, the bad streak, and you feel more confident. But yeah, it's very nice. Thanks for the resub, by the way, my man. Loyal supporter. I think we just check here, and if it goes check, check river, uh, we go ahead and bet. Because he's not supposed to have pairs here. And I'm going to go ahead and bet. Oh, there's my other table. It's not easy for him to call uh, with an ace-queen kind of hand, so I think you kind of have to give it up. It's a nice bet. Take free cards on the open-ender. Uh, nope, missed it all. And we're going to get off this bottom right table in a minute. On the next rotation. Nope. Net B. Net B, that was the name of the droid. Player calls. Let's just go ahead and get what value we can. Yep, never going to have the flush there. You're just never going to have the flush. Why would you check raise when a king comes off? Like, what am I possibly betting? Okay, that's a weak ass. We're going to raise it. Sometimes he's trapping, but this re-raise is hella suspicious. He's only been here for five minutes, so he's going to have more overpairs than full houses and deuces. So we're going to go ahead and call. Queen's not great. I think the ace is good. Yeah, I'm gonna let it go. That's fine. He hasn't been here long. He could just be nutted or have a deuce, and then we honestly don't know if the ace is good. So he's gonna have the ace deuce combos that don't make flush draws, like the spade or the club. Great reference in the show to Quinlan Voss saying Quinlan was here in the uh, underground Jedi Railroad. are closed can you truly see that's a great line from the comic ooh aces ba, ba, ba. <clears throat> I'm gonna go
go ahead and but King's kind of great here. Uh, I think we're gonna check back since I have the Ace of Hearts. He's not likely to have Ace, or he's not likely to have Heart draws. He can definitely have Ace Queen, Pocket Sevens. I don't think we can fold because of that. This is this is one of the moves that I started doing, which was forcing River Bluffs from people calling on the flop with one pair. It's like just checking and then letting them bluff rivers, and they so consistently bluff rivers. It's really funny. I love how that droid that can't talk has just got a wrench and ready to cave in this fucking stormtrooper's skull. I guess this table's done. Um, yeah, it's a little meh. Alright, this table's dead. Bring this one. I love how you see the little notes to lay as a uh, future as a general, even though they called her princess. It's like one of the most important characters in film. Look at that flop. don't know how we can get value here unless somebody decides to go ape shit. Oh, Vader's here. <laughs> kind of wish that six hadn't come off. I mean, we should be good, but it's kind of hard to, like I said, it's kind of really hard to get value. I'll go ahead and try to look bluffy. I don't think a king folds. There are some two pair combos. He's going to have king 10 a ton here, right? What do you got? King Jack. One pair payoff. Interesting. Alright, we got waiting lists. Oof. Vader just stomping through the town, slaughtering people for no reason. Fun. I love how they took it as an opportunity to Vader to do that to draw out Obi-Wan, but also because he just likes killing people. Oh. There it is. The presence of not felt since... Just kills the kid. Jesus. Just snaps the child's neck. Learning new. Hey, thanks, my man. Good seeing you. Uh, 
yeah. Only because it's four to one. Rooting my man, I appreciate it. I definitely could use the all the uh the rooting me on. Is that the cheers? God damn, they really made Vader amazing in this. Damn, Whisper Wong. What do you care what she does? If she fucks up, Vader will kill her. Let her do something stupid. Well, five of spades would be nice. flush. Right. I mean, what are we talking about? One outer? For confidence? Oof. I like that they gave Vader the short lightsaber in this. Significantly shorter than it was in uh, 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 Empire. Yeah, damn right. Run away. I'm gonna be fucking with him. Can I get on this one? Nope. Gotta wait. Oof. I love the lighting in the dark with the lightsabers lighting up Obi-Wan's face while he's looking for Vader. We are currently up two and a half buy-ins in about a half an hour. Didn't even have to do anything special. I am what you made me. Funny, I thought I made you a lot shorter. Kings. Limp. Not a decent raise. Re-raise. Zero's going to play everything, so I don't really care what he does. We're probably going to get the money on this flop. Can we get in here yet? Nope. Got to wait 13 minutes. Hold here. Yeah, it's not that many tables going, but I don't know. I don't mind it. Uh, it's rough because he's going to have everything. So... We're just going to bet big and get it in. He's going to get it in with a 10. He's going to get it in with any pair. He's going to get it in with overcard sometimes. King, queen. But he's rarely going to have jack 10 because he raised. If he had limped, I think I would have bet smaller and allowed him to, to raise. But I think I'd rather just get him committed there with one pair. So he doesn't raise all that much, but he plays like 100% of hands. Like It's just everything. He's just trying to flop. And this raise is not how you do it. I don't know, Vader's just fucking with him. <sighs> okay. Small re-raise and a bigger re-raise. This player is very short. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ditch this one. Damn it, my mouse is fucking up. I'm supposed to get off this table, but there's not enough other games, so I'm going to stay on it because I don't want to go less than uh, five. But we still have another ten minutes or so to kill before we can get on another table. Ooh, good flop. It's not like we can't win money with this stack, but I don't like to have that much at risk. There is one player here who's a problem. I 
That's a pretty good turn. It'll make my bet look like bigger bullshit, too. So, we're just gonna go big. I mean, it's blind versus blind. Yeah, he can have anything, but... I think betting there is better than checking. There's so many action killers, and if he has an overpair or a draw, we want to get value or charge him. I hate this, but I'm getting 11 to 1. Yeah, I'm just going to call this one. Could have 3-bet, but... Yeah. That's fine. Ooh, that's six. Come on, Scrooge. Jack in the river, I'm gonna check. Again, I don't think we get value, and sometimes we're beat. We don't get value by betting, I mean. I'm surprised he didn't bet the turn. Like, he let the river come off that would screw him, and then he turned his hand into a bluff for no reason. He's better off betting the turn and then just checking back river. Oof. Dragging Obi-Wan through the fucking fire. Ugh. That's super small, I'm gonna call it. Queen's nice. Ah, oh, that sucks. The rat the, the bad part is I don't think I can fold because this player could just be full of shit. If he re raises, I'm fucked. Yeah, this was just a draw all day. Oh well. I'll wait nine minutes on that. Oh. Let's go ahead and raise here. Limped pot, but all the equity. Just gonna go ahead and bet again. There's more five sixes than there are fours and better jacks. Not for, not very many kings there because there's no flush draw out there with the overcards. Check. Ooh, spade. Aces again. Eh. Uh, eh, why not? Ugh. Eyes watering. Kind of a flimsy escape there from Vader. But... That's another good flop. Check, check. Ace in the turn is usually better for me than for him. I'm just going to go ahead and bet like we're protecting against the flush draw. He calls River Misses Flush. And we're going to bet again. Right about there. He's not going to fold an ace, but we're trying to get him off a nine. Wow. What took you so long with an ace? That's weak sauce, bro. Mm. <laughs> what the fuck was the 8-9 even calling for? What? I mean... Like, actual what? Ugh, wish I'd raise that flop. That's kind of insane. Uh, I'm just gonna bet Smolly. Get snap called. I um, guess we check. I, think, I guess we can check back river. 
Are we supposed to call this? That's kind of brutal. I'm curious. King four. Okay. He's not supposed to fold it, but he's also not supposed to play it. He's definitely not supposed to bet it. Because if I have ace king, I'm pretty sure I'm ra or king queen. I'm raising that river. I'm pretty sure I am with ace king as well, but I don't know. A lot of weak ass new players. Fold, fold, fold. Amazed John Williams came back to do the uh, do the music for this one on episode four. Pretty rad. <laughs> and how the hell did uh, how the hell did she get ahead of Leia in that tunnel? You could say force speed, but she would have seen her. Okay, what is with this guy? Oh, he's the target. For sure, for sure. Shot back to our flesh. Ooh, that's a nice card. So he have six, seven. He has nine, ten a lot. He has jack ten a lot. I think I like the call for against zero here. Backdooring the flush is kind of something he's not going to see. Okay, this isn't good. It's a very small raise. The guy's only been here for a minute. He could definitely have two pair or the nuts. Six, seven is also possible. Which makes it rough when a 7 comes off. Two pair. Bet, bet, bet.
It's like the third time somebody's told Leia nobody's coming for you. We're only like four episodes into this show. Tragic backstory. I forget that guy's name. The dude who lost his wife, but he's going to end up in another series. fold that. God, so many outs. Got three bet. Nope, let's do it. You don't have enough. You haven't been here long enough. Yep. Ace of King, please. Come on, three. <sighs> so ridiculous. Just snap calls it. Makes a small re-raise with a pocket pair, which is advisable. Doesn't know how to fold it, which is fucking retarded. I'm just going to have every pair there. Every pair in ace-king. We're not talking about somebody who understands ranges. Turn's pretty good. River's even better. Don't think I'm folding this one if he decides to raise. Okay. Nine's nice. Most of the time. Six, eight. We're going to go ahead and bet. Did he have a king? King three. Two pair. Wow, he underplayed it. Did this guy just call me with the fucking straight? God, that's pathetic.
<laughs> oh, I got shot. He's never supposed to have King Jack. should be good for me, but it may be good for him. Queen 10, Jack 9. This guy's fucking hilarious. Let's see. I mean, that seems blockery, which means that he should have a Jack. Uh, I want to see it though. Aces? Wow, that is underplayed. Okay. All right, a little bit of uh, raggy runouts here. Fun. Under the gun. Yeah, let's three bet just so we don't get any action behind. If I get four bet, obviously I'm folding. Nope, oh, I gotta wait four minutes on that table. Player calls. We're gonna bet small. Just up from the 10 and L grind. No, no tourney cash. I picked up like 14 or 15 buy-ins in the last two sessions, which were off stream. This fucking sucks. Lucky shit. No, it was just cash. It wasn't that big. It was like 140 bucks, and uh, I had one session that was like seven buy-ins and. Another one that was like three, and then another one that was like four or five. So, it's it's not unheard of. I mean, they weren't even crazy long sessions. It was just they were late nights. So, it was, you know, easy action, and, you know, you just get the money in broad, and had my hands hold up. That sucks. I'm not folding, though. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what the fuck that is. He has the flush draw, and then he bets at me. Like, what are you repping here? Like, specifically Jack-10? You're fucking crazy. It's a four-way pot. I'm obviously betting something. This guy is funny. Queen's not great. I bet small. He's the kind of guy who's going to have all two pairs and gut shot combos. He's going to have queen 10. He's going to have king queen. That four is kind of good for me because of that. But sometimes he's got the four and I get check raised. But a lot of times I just won. Because he's going to have queen 10, king 10. Or not king 10. But queen 10. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Like, I just know I can't stop betting against this fool. Any value hand, you just can't slow down. Definitely could have had, you know, uh, like a bad king, king jack. Alright, he does the raise thing again. You Do we want to go with ace king again against him now for twice as much? I kind of think I do. 
because his range is all pairs, so let's just go. Wow. Hold. Motherfucker. What the fuck with this? Like, why? <sighs> Same guy twice. <sighs> this is some super fucking fish stick shit. Uh, I'm not folding, but I'm going to allow him to bluff. So, he's going to have me beat a bunch, but he's never going to call a bet, so we might as well check and allow him to jam. He had ace-jack, so maybe he would have called there. This fucking guy's hilarious. Nope. Don't mind that. Hmm. Three would have been so nice. You got it. I actually had a couple of tourney losses, so I guess it was more than 140. It was probably like 160, 170 in the past couple days. Alright, well, I want this guy to myself, so I'm going to raise. 60, 40, hits a raw queen. I even flopped two diamonds. Check. He's going to have the whole deck as his, as his range. If I had an ace, I would have called. Trust I'll get him. I just don't want him to lose my money to somebody else doing the same dumb shit before I get a chance at it. The good part is it's going to read me as ace-king now every time I three-bet. Which he was probably doing in the first place, which is fucking hilarious that he calls with fives and with queen five. That's weird. Jedi Tombs, the storage facility. <sighs> so dumb. And I should have the best ace a lot unless uh, 5150 has one. It's close. Yep. Idiot.
check fold. I'm sitting here even because of this idiot. crazy that she gives up the, the path because she runs the path so she's going to change it anyway but she actually gives them but she gives them uh, information to distract them just slapping down fucking stormtroopers like they're chopping wood. like a triple agent. This is fucking retarded. Take it. Got four people trash talking each other at my table. I'm just picking up cash while they argue. That's usually the way it goes. I remember years ago I was at Harris and playing and there was these two guys who were sitting there basically dick waving with bluffs and stuff like that and uh, I kept just getting in there and it was just best hands I just kept making flushes and uh, it was just like best hand best hand best hand and there was one of them where these two guys got into a raising war and uh, I was just calling the small re-raises in the middle and then eventually one of the guys looks at me and he goes what are you doing here and uh, I, I didn't say anything, and he just jams. The other guy calls. I called it, and I had the nut flush on the river. And uh, uh, they both had sets, and it was really funny. And I said, I'm just letting you guys argue. And they, they, they were good sports about it. They laughed, but it was a monster pot. And I think that was the first I talked the entire session. Yeah, I'm glad because I didn't. I don't want to call this right anyway. Great play, sick play, bro. Super sick. Seven four. Oh, you're so cool. Yeah. Did you Did you see how I like flinched? Like I totally doubted that I had the best hand. Oh my god, you're so you're so tricky. An idiot. Ooh, that's a nice card. Uh, let this one go. Check here. I think we can go for thin value. A little thicker up here. Check. Let that one go. Ah, oh, zero's the guy you want in there too. Ah, oh. Obi Wan just murdering fools. Unbelievable. Holding back the ocean. That's actually a great reference to a Luke Skywalker bit where he held back the entire ocean in a trap.
Okay. I mean, G-Money's an idiot, but he could definitely still have an ace. But I'm not giving up for one bet. Good play, bro. It's like those bets aren't even good. It's like if you get called, I have something, you have to up the amount of the bet. I like this call here. I don't like that flop. Wish I could switch these boards, but this isn't bad. I mean, it's a super small bet. I guess we just snap call and move on. You might go for it. Seven bucks even. He's going to have a lot of flushes too. Ooh, that's nice. Let's just bang it. Queen 10. He had the third nut. Look at that. Come on. You'll go crazy with King Jack, Queen Jack, 10 Jack. Ace Jack, King 10, King 4, or not King 4, King 9. Queen Jack for sure. Did Obi-Wan just try to sneak out Leia in his coat like he was the fucking Muppets? Stacking two people on top of each other? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's a nice card. I feel like I'm good here a fair percentage of the time, unless he has a set, right? Ah, kings. I don't know why he checked the flop. Uh, that's a full pot bet, but we're going to raise with a flush anyway. He can have an ace. He can have a couple full houses. It's blind versus blind. That's the part that makes it hard. He bet the full pot on the river. Ace three, ace six, ace jack. Ace Jack, yeah, it's the only one. Ah, God, that's frustrating. But blind versus blind, and the way it was played, I think it's fine. I'm looking it over. Could have given it up. He bet full pot. I raised. He jammed. It's a limped pot. He bin bets the flop. Bets super small on the turn. Pot bet. Yeah, I should have gotten away from that one. But he's going to have flushes too, and he's going to lose his fucking mind because he made it on the river. So, I don't hate it. I guess, right? The fuck took so long? What the fuck are you calling with? Ace five, fourth pair. On a one liner, wow. Like, if you're gonna call with that, like, what, what took so long? Like, it's a one-liner straight and trips on board. So you, you literally... You don't even have a bluff catcher. The bluff catcher would have been to have a six. 
because I think that's the minimum somebody's going to bet there is the six. Then they're going to bet the bottom end of this, or they're going to bet the top end of the straight. They're going to bet the six, and then they're going to bet the bottom end of the straight. So you have to be able to beat my minimum for value. Yeah, that's not. I don't like that. Oh, there's my buddy again. He'll overdraw. So we're going to bet. It's fine. <sighs> A little above even now. Was I had three buy ins, and that cooler happened, bigger cooler. Love that they put the tracker on Lola and it made it so the lights changed. Like Lola was blue. Taking down pots with 7 4 off. I think it's going good. <laughs> Look at that flop. And I guess we just auto call, right? Da -da -da. Nice clean run up. Uh, but, uh, I just don't think he has much unless he made the straight. Yeah, he's just never going to have enough to continue. Could have raised the turn, I guess. But I think we get even less then. On to the next episode. It's great, because I remember watching this the first time through and sitting there thinking, we're just literally counting down to the to the final confrontation with uh, Vader and Obi-Wan. Okay, bro. What a great play. Can I please hit one of these? Thank you. This guy minimum 4-bet me with pocket 8s. And then called off. It, it's like, what are you doing? You, you have zero. You have zero thought. This fucking donkey dumbass shit. At least this fucker's still got the money over there. Can we get it from him? This isn't bad because of the backdoor spades. That's the worst card in the deck. table. Yes, we do. Do we have one we're going to be getting off of? Maybe this one? Nah, I'm going to stay on it. Oh, the flashbacks. Hayden Christensen. 
reprising his role. They shouldn't have some kind of safety lightsaber. I mean, fucking Hayden really, you know, young Anakin really goes for it against Obi Wan. The third sister is here. Flush draw pairs. Oh, made her the Grand Inquisitor. Saw that coming. I will call. Ooh, that's a great card. Let's inflate this. He can definitely have some two pairs. But shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think he folds any of them, but we still get paid off by every other hand that this moron's going to have. What do I beat here? Jax? No, not even Jax. Ace-8. Just pay off. Just pay off wizard. What are you doing? Uh, <clears throat> being high. Sounds about right. And really enjoying this particular machine. Which one is that? We do call. I'll bet this one. Call here. I don't know if he has two pairs or flush as much. That ace is kind of really bad. Yeah, we lose a lot here. Queen Jack. Wow, that's the minimum. I'm glad I beat it. Nobody called it there? Well, when you come back in here, can you bring me the uh, chicken salad croissant? Oh, you got some of those? There's the, I saw them, and I got you one, too. Cool. Then I'm going to make some fries. Ooh, give me a couple of those. Well, I'll, those are, I'll, do you want to wait for your sandwich then? For yeah, the yeah. Because those are going to take a few minutes. Yeah, that's fine. A little chicken salad croissant and some french fries. That's not bad. The, the pause there doesn't mean that he has the straight. It just means that he's like, fuck it. If this guy has a straight, then I lose. And Jack-10 is not going to beat whatever that is. A lot of times that's Ace-Jack or the overpair. He was the original Razor, so kind of makes sense. I guess we can get off this one. Gianni. Breakout, breakout of the series. Roken, that was the guy's name. That's not good. That queen makes too many two pairs and gut shots. I don't think he's betting again, especially that small with just air ball.
Ooh, aces again. Raise under the gun. Let's re raise. Calls. Ace is damn good. He's not going to have much, but we're going to underbet and try to make something happen here. He's just going to fold a bunch, but we really can't check because there's too many cards that kill action, like diamonds, nines, jacks. Uh, he goes 350. Do we just jam? Uh, let's just call. No uh, diamond on the turn. We should get the money in. He's going to have a set sometimes. Thank you. Two pair, no good. Shouldn't be playing that in the first place. Ooh, got shot. Check, check, fold. Nah. Guess we can get off this one in a minute. Back up three buy ins. Appreciate you guys all being here. Keeping me company. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to get off this table. Yeah, we're going to rat hole that one and get in here. I mean, Anakin legit trying to kill Obi-Wan in their practice sessions years before. Like, <clears throat> they needed, like, a Jedi psychologist to be like, uh, you might be having a problem. This raise is significant except for the, the limpers. Okay. Ugh. Not bad. Let's go ahead and bet. Look at this shit. Do we gamble here? Yep. Getting the price. Bang! It's getting better than 3 to 1. Sorry, bro. But I like me more than you. Up 4.5 buy-ins now. Wish I had one spade here. This player is just so fucking aggressive. I'm just never going to fold to him. See a raise out of first. I am going to three bet. Look at that deuce. See a bet and a call. We're going to go for the raise. What would you say, Ben? About 10 minutes for the raise. Okie dokie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. 
Old. Pair the board. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's go ahead and bet here. Take that down. Nice. I had five buy-ins and change. Mm -mm. Very good, very good. Do we have any more tables? Ooh, yeah, we do. Nice. Look at this, another set. Give me this one. Can I... Clear bets, let's go for the check raise. Ooh, we got another table. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to give this up. Open ender, but it is a full pot bet. Not worth it. Definitely getting off this table. And this one's all 10. No, G money. Uh. So I want to stay here because of that guy. But it kind of breaks my normal practice. Uh uh. Too cheap. I know you lost your mind. Stay on a little bit longer. Because he's very beatable. He may be. He might have to put his shirt on. He ain't gonna let me. I like fashion. I never like it. Smell. He's like, quit pushing me around. Um, damn. Uh, got too many tables that are stacked up. What a horrible problem to have. I've got too much money on all these tables. I mean, it's not my money, but it's still a lot. It's kind of sitting in front of me. Um, yeah. Oof. Three, do six, spade, four. All those cards would have been good on the turn. That's interesting. I'm going to check. Fold here. I guess we just check because we got G money in there. Oh. Look at this, the three was good. Uh, I think we call only because if he calls and we one liner it, he'll bluff. Jack's also pretty good. Check. Check fold. Ooh, better flush draw. Look at that. So I make two pair. The problem is this player is going to have a 10. All right, we'll post the blinds in here. I mean, yeah, he's just always going to have the 10. We, we need it to come off with a 10 so he'll bluff. When he bets small, he's just going to have it. When he bets big, he's not. So zero bets out. He plays 100% of hands. Um, that's kind of a big bet. I kind of like the value of raising right now. If he has something, he'll go with it. If he doesn't, he's not going to call anyway. Deuce on the turn. That's kind of awesome. Uh, I guess we try to price him in on a draw. Keep him around with an ace. Plus, this can look weak to some players. I could have even bet like super small, like two, maybe a dollar fifty. Yeah, I think this is going to confuse him. Nope. I guess he didn't have anything. Ooh, back to Kenobi. Damn, they really spared no expense on this entrance. Uh, can 
I get on this table? No, I cannot. I gotta wait 20 minutes. I'm gonna three bet. I'm just gonna bet here. Beatrix is gonna call with all queens. Second pairs, but Archer is the one I'm really worried about. Queen of Spades. Happy to see you're running better today. Yeah, going much better today. Thank you, my man. Uh, I'm gonna check this one. A bit here. I don't think we get anything off anything. Yeah, King Eight. I mean, if he's that dumb to call, he's gonna gonna keep going. Check, check, check. King Queen. I mean, he min bet and then I raised and then he called. He's doing it again. He might have two pair here or a gut shot. That eight's not awesome. But sometimes he leads out. Now he's leading out big. Can he have a set of deuces here or ace eight? We miss value a lot. He hasn't been here long. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm going to go with King Jack on that one. Can't believe this guy's fucking sitting here just stacked up. This guy raced fives versus my ace king, and he raced queen five versus ace queen ace king suited. People are like not making a big enough impression pre flop because they know he won't fold, but I'd happily get it in again with him. We are ahead six buy ins in an hour and a half. Uh, I'm just going to call it this time. I kind of like having the king queen here versus this range, which is super everything. Um, because I want to see where three bets come from. Because if if I'm going to end up in a situation where I'm dominated, like if I three bet, ace queen here is just going to call. But when I call, ace queen is going to raise. So we get a chance to get away. You know, same with ace king. I don't know if ace king four bets right off the bat. It might. Yeah. I think I got away good. He overbets. I mean, to be fair, if you have aces or a set, this is the thing to do here versus this player. Because he just doesn't fold. It looks dumb, but it's actually a great play. Yeah. He's, he's kind of upset. He's been here for about an hour. Check, 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 check. He's 20 and I was playing very scaredy. Let's see, we'll get on some tables, waiting lists, waiting list, waiting list, waiting list. All right. Um, check. Oh, the standoff at the blast doors. So amazing. Uh, fourth pair of aces. plug in my mouse. It's kind of getting glitchy. Good shot. Oh, we're having fun. And I am starving.
Oh, that's a good detail. She actually knew Vader was Anakin Skywalker. And the only person who would have known that, that he didn't kill, would have had to have been a child. So she was a youngling, obviously. All right. It's a great little detail that I didn't catch the first time around. That, I mean, I caught it. That's like, how does she know he's Anakin Skywalker? But then he explained. Not bad. You are a youngling. It's a nice card. Great play, bro. Can't win them all. friend who's an actress and she uh, asked me what I thought the most powerful uh, line I'd ever heard in a movie was and I said it's Master Skywalker there's too many of them what are we going to do okay limps I don't I don't, I don't know what's going on here it's kind of big, but it's fine. So she's been plotting and scheming and getting close to Vader since she was a child so that she could take him down, and her whole plan ends up turning into I'm going to stab him in the back. Uh, I'm going to bet big here. I, I think sometimes we get overaction from Queen 10, Jack 10, or, or Queen, T Queen 10, Queen Jack. King Queen, King Ten, King Jack, and any ace. But if he's not, that's one of those ones where it's like, if I'm not going to catch a fish, I'm not going to catch a big fish. Because what do I do? You know, I mean, if I check, there's just so many action killers. But if he has like King Ten or King Jack, he's going to call me on the flop. He's going to take at least one off. Up six buy-ins. Can we get on this table? Not for 20 minutes. Okay. Bitch said lightsaber coming through. We can bet this more uh, for value straight down because we're not going to get folds, so we might as well bet. We're not going to get folds from hands with uh, draws. Ooh. I love that move. Obi Wan, instead of deflecting the bolt, he actually went and he hit it like a baseball bat back to the fucking stormtrooper and took his head off. love it, but I don't think we can fold for a min bet in this stupid raise. Hard of the turn, this guy's going to have the hearts more than Disco, but Disco's going to jam anyway, so we're going to get out of the way. I don't think there's much else to think about that. Oh, thanks, baby. You're welcome. That's good. Open fries. I can't continue here. No. Definitely not. Just because I don't want this guy to re raise me. Oh my god, how do you fold? 
hilarious. <laughs> Sergeant, quit being a jerk. Sergeant got his hair cut, now he's acting like he's fucking diva. Player's too short to continue with. If you had a full stack, we could actually call. Yeah, they kind of overstuff them. <laughs> Classy broad, babe. <laughs> the thought process is not going to happen. You're the thought process. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a set. Kind of a great setup, too, because, yeah, it's a four way pot. 9 10, I guess, is the only realistic draw, but 10 jack will be there. Don't know if we want to raise unless we see a really big bet. Uh, I'm going to check. I'm going to go for the trap trap. So this guy's range is the deck, right? So can he have 9-6 for sure? But that would be very specific to have. And if he wants to get it in, we can. Right, call this. He's going to have two pairs. I mean, he was the original Razor. I suppose he can have Queens. But he can also have Sevens. He can also have Fives. That's that same thing. He has to have value to call. And when he has value, he's not going to fold. But I don't think we're going to see another river bet for value. So I like the raise there. It also looks like bullshit. Foodie. Ooh, 
거든요. 응. I've been able to find those sandwiches in forever, but when they do them right, man, they're very satisfying. I mean, too few snags booked a win overall. That's kind of the way it goes, man. Way to go. That sucks. Um, I'm just going to bet it. Okay. Oh, wow. He got shot at the tip top. Shouldn't have led. If he bet, he's going to check raise. I'm going to call. He's going to have way too many eights. Leads out on the nut. That's hilarious. We need a wizard emote. Why do we need a wizard emote? Can I do something wizardy? We got the, the Jedi stuff. Look at this run out. Nope. Multi-tabling wizardry with the hoodie. Oh, I've always worn the hoodies. My lifelong goal of being a Jedi. You get down. Be like your brother. He's not my brother. It's just some guy you brought home one day. <laughs> That's fucking mean. gently but kind of a dummy he's a special boy <laughs> I said that to PZ he was like oh that's your special dog I was like no for real he was like no for real I was like yeah look at him and he was like yeah he does look a little remedial <laughs> he's like yeah what's up <laughs> yeah, oh what's the problem you know, you're great <laughs> You don't fuck with you no more DVs, eh? That's where I'll kick your ass. It's <laughs> Arch <laughs> That's right, bitch. There was a piece on there. <laughs> and Sar Sarge went for it and Juju went for it. And Sarge backed up so quick. After that day they fought. Don't mistake his niceness for softness. Where's my fuck, bitch? That's not the worst. Baby, Use my bag of jeans, my goat teeth to make me different from y'all. <laughs> I love it when you do it. Ah, oh, see, nope. You can't be doing that. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Just half a pill and some Zephyr Hills. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, dog. <laughs> Slip and slide crew. I don't know nothing about that. Seriously, refill. <laughs> you ate too fast, buddy. You're burping. Oh, don't worry about me. 
Give me some more of that, whatever that was. <laughs> okay, okay. Can we get another table, please? Maybe. Well, there's three waiting lists. We got a shot. It's awesome how transparent you are with your thought process uh, for us in the chat. Yeah, I'm just kind of speaking out what I'm thinking. Which is kind of the point, right? Like, until you got that Lex Veldhaus audience or uh, Kevin Martin. Back in my day, I used to have bigger audiences than both of them. I was just about to say that's so funny. You know, uh, I don't have nothing. Go oh. get something. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, until you get those audiences, you kind of got to provide something extra, so I just try to keep talking the whole time. But it helps you, too. No, yeah, it does. It clarifies my thought process. Although you uh, end up saying the same thing like 900 times. But in different ways. Yeah. <laughs> well, it reinforces stuff. You know, it, it, it's it's like learning how to do something by teaching somebody else, you know? Yeah. We always say that's the best way to do it. <sighs> I needed every bit of everything I just had. I don't know if I've ever had a chicken salad sandwich with... French fries, but it was pretty good. It was, right? <laughs> it really hit the spot there. I was thinking the same thing when I was eating. I'm like, I am in stoner heaven right now. This is... It's a great idea. <clears throat> we eat club sandwiches with fries. Yeah, but that's not like a chicken salad sandwich. Well, they're both sandwiches. Okay, stoner. With lettuce and meat and mayo. Don't forget they have bread, too. Right. So there's no bacon, and this thing's chopped up and slathered in mayonnaise. Literally. I thought you were going to say chopped up and juicy. <laughs> hey, guys. Big surprise. Courtney's high. <laughs> and it's hitting extra hard because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to say I'm waiting for you to just like pass the fuck out at some I, point. I keep trying. I thought I was down when I just went down, but. Should have taken a Benadryl or something. I thought about it earlier until my mom was like, I need to take something so it just lights me down. But I don't really want to get in that habit. How does one time make it a habit? I don't know. It's just I don't want to. I don't, want to That's a, I don't want to take something that'll because that would build a bad habit. I know. I'll smoke a metric ton of weed. That'll be better. I don't <laughs> smoke a metric ton. I can't afford to smoke a metric ton. It's the only obstacle is supply. The demand <laughs> is there. That's funny. I caught myself, mm -hmm. and immediately as I did it, I was like, oh shit, and then I was like, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Courtney's hourly ice shake. <laughs> Lucky if it's hourly. You're being very needy, and I'm not about that life. <laughs> He's his ass in the this bed. It. He just jumped up and pawed at me, and now he's doing that. He's Put your foot down here. I can't with him right now. <laughs> I just started dying laughing. I was over at, at Sin's place yesterday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the bunnies just kind of walk around. Like they just, oh, I keep forgetting she has bunnies. And they're jet black. They're adorable, but they're jet black. So she keeps the, she actually has the same thing on her fucking phone for the lights. Yeah. So she makes them red, and they kind of change colors and stuff. It's very dark. So, you know... You just kind of, all of a sudden, you just see a shadow move in the corner of the room in the shape no. of a bunny. No, that's creepy as fuck. No, they're you actually, how, they're the long-haired ones. They're actually very cute. I'm sure they are cute, but you know how my thing with rabbits. 
yeah, you, you made a thing out of nothing. But, uh, no, the funny part was... It creepy if it just looks like a shadow. Well, I was on the couch, and I had my, my foot sticking out, and all of a sudden I feel something on my toe, and it's literally one of the rabbits. So, and he had his... It was like Sergeant, he had his butt up, so I just started petting him with my foot. That's so weird. You look like somebody who would pet a butt. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you are high. <laughs> I honestly think you're more sleepy than anything. Yeah, probably. I'm not even sleepy. I'm like delirious. Delirious from no sleep. Did you? Well, you slept like two hours. Right now? No, not right. What are you? No, this morning. You slept like two hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying, I would do want to say you got no sleep, but that's definitely nowhere near enough. I mean, I got like an hour before you got home. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. And then I, I was just asleep right now, wasn't I? I thought you were just playing on your phone. Oh, shit, I was just playing on my phone. Wow, you're so tired, you don't know if you're asleep. <laughs> I went to, I feel like, did, I went to sleep. I don't know. <laughs> oh, and I was supposed to just text me, what are you doing? And I just don't even, I'm not even going to respond. What are you going, what are you doing? Ignoring you. Right. That sucks too, because you texted him all. <laughs> and now it's over. Yeah, because he, I mean, now he has to wait until I get the urge again. Like. See, the funny part is you never tell anybody that. Because they don't deserve that communication. Wow. Wow. This man has been bugging me for months. I finally Bugging say, me. Yeah. I finally say, okay, hey. And, and here's the thing. He texts me at like 3 in the morning talking about, hey, I fell asleep. Right. But... When I when we were communicating, it was how was your night at three twenty eight? It took me thirty minutes to respond, mm -hmm. but then once I responded, we're in a back and forth conversation for four minutes, and then all of a sudden, after I say an hour or so, he asked me when at four fourteen. Yeah, I remember that. I said an hour or so at four fifteen, and then at nine o'clock I said hello. And I didn't get a response until 3 a.m. I'm talking about, hey, I fell asleep. You fell asleep in one minute? I mean, if his phone's falling on his face. and We were we were in a conversation, though, for three minutes. <laughs> what? So, I don't tell him that he has to wait now. Now I just ghost him, and then tomorrow I'll be like, sorry, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> just a bitch. Watch him though. That's that orange. What's that? That car, that, that rumble. Yeah. That's that orange car. I know. I hate when he just sits there. Like he does it a lot too. He does it a lot. I know. He always sits there for a few minutes. When he, before he goes, and the motorcycle wrong. guy is so cool. Yeah, he starts his he he be out. He there starts and, it while and he's moving. He, he like, starts it and takes off and yeah. gets out of this complex super fast because he knows that shit's loud. But he be sitting out there on it for a few minutes before he even starts it. Right. This dude. I mean, I get it, it's AC, but no, but he's a dickhead. Because why does your car need to do that? Right. Like, what are you, you, you fucking gonna race it fast and furious? What the fuck are you gonna do? Like, no, you're just jacking it up to because you're fucking. Just, that's what you wanna waste your money on. It's one thing if it's just aesthetics, but like, why is he whacking that engine to the sky? There's no way he's like street racing. The baby's like, car, he ain't racing shit. That's what I'm saying. So he's just making it loud. Mm hmm. Notice me. Yeah. With my small penis and ginormous balls. 
That's funny. <laughs> oh. Those are always the good. <laughs> so this is funny. I'm gonna go ahead and do this though. This is this is kind of funny here. I might get called by G Money. I don't know. All right, cool. Hold. Hold. Sweet. Sits down first hand. Min re raises on a forty big blind stack. And then calls off the jam. Why? He's a retard. There we go. Does he have an overpair? Yeah, he has jacks. Best card in the river for me, too. I don't mind the way I played it. Holy shit, I'm full. That's the only thing with those sandwiches. When they first started making them, they were actually using the croissants. Now they, th I think they make a special croissant for that because it's denser. You think? Mm-hmm. Normal croissants aren't dense like that. But I think they're doing it because it's obviously a, a heavy chicken salad, so they don't want people getting soggy bread. Because the, the oh. first ones when we got them, I did yeah. get soggy bread a couple times. Yeah. I don't think we bet here. I think we just check call if this player bets. We should be good a lot. Yeah. It's just it's the best way because nobody has a king, right? And the queen's kind of on the border. This player should be bluffing at some percentage. That's a nice check. But there's nobody who can call anything. Did you guys see that? This one. I bet the turn after a check flop and then checked river. Uh, let's go ahead and bet here. Call there for a deuce. Nope. Check, check, check. Queens, okay. Hmm. Don't love the heart. We just check, right? Wow. Like you could definitely bet small there. Because somebody's gonna have a queen. It's ace ten, ace jack. If he bets half pot, I think I have to pay it. Just because I bet once on the flop and then checked. But I'm never gonna bet that jack there. Just because I don't have enough to. You know, it's like, there's literally like King Jack's not going to call me. And his pocket threes all over the place. Had him last hand over here. Eh. All right. Foldy, foldy.
Is it crazy that if you pass out at some point, that I go back over there? Yes. Chill out. They mess with what the fuck is that? get off this one and replace it and same here. Check, check, check. Uh, I'm not going to bet it. I'm going to see if this guy wants to rep it. I mean, it's a small thing, but like, he's just never going to call a bet. This is, there's just no way to get any money out of the guy. So, you know, we pick up two blinds. It's not bad. Better than nothing. Yeah, I got two tables off on the side here. I think I'll get off both these. Rat hole them, because they kind of go dead, too, when you have too much money on the table. Check, 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 check. Check me, check me, check me. Mm, no interest there. Ooh, put Kenobi back on. Oh, that robot's awesome. Or droid. I hate that they fucking. Well, I guess he's actually technically a robot because he's a loader. So they don't really call him a droid. Um, yeah, that's fine. Do do do. Uh -huh. Aces, sixth pair of aces. I think we got one one buy-in from one. Oh, Tala dying. Can I get on this table? Yeah, I can too. All right, so we can replace those real easy. We got a limp and a call. Having the ace of spades isn't great because it cuts down on hands that'll draw on us. Take it down. Get to see what a thermal detonator does in this show. That's pretty awesome. Pretty ridiculous fucking explosion. I don't think I don't think we've seen thermal detonators in the series, except for Leia rescuing Han as the uh, oh, what was the name of those things? Bounty hunter, but I forget what what that breed is. I just remember Yato Yato. When he was sitting there with Java, going fifty thousand, no less. Let's just kill this one now. Nope. Hang on. Bring this one in. Alright.
kill that one. Bring this in. needed the James Bond school of relearning. But I just shoot him dead here. This was a nice one. I bet the flop and turn and check the river. And uh, he went ahead and bet it. The air ball. He's not wrong, but he should have raised the turn if he wanted to play that bluff. Because he's supposed to be representing 6 7 or 2 pair. That's the worst. Oh, fucking idiot. Just overbets the flop with nothing. I'm giving him credit for ace jack, ace king. the problem. Don't love it. Check. Called. I think we can absolutely just probably go bet, bet, bet. He's short stacked, but he should let us know pretty quickly. Yep. Fold, fold, fold.
They literally have the sound of Vader holding the the plane down. It sounds like when the Millennium Falcon's hyperdrive knocked out. It's a little Easter egg for you guys. <laughs> it's literally the same Foley. I mean, what am I doing with that? And this is the summary of Rekha's plan is to just stab Vader in the back and scream and grunt while she tr attempts it I mean you're not going to beat Vader don't mind this is a backdoor spades gut shot now It's better for him than me. Yeah, he's gonna have the clubs. If he doesn't have, if he has the queen, he's gonna keep betting. But if he has the uh, clubs, he's gonna whatever. this planning all this time and it comes down to she's just trying to cr try to kick Vader's ass yeah that's like that's a great idea Check this one. He's gonna have King Queen a ton here. Eights? Really? Wow, I guess I should have three barreled it. Okay. Good to know. It's pretty bad. Ten I don't mind. I guess we can go for a little bit of bet here. This fucking asshole survive. That's what I don't get. Sucks. What am I watching? Oh, I'm watching um, 
I'm rewatching Kenobi, the series. Currently on episode five, where Riva just got uh, stabbed by the somehow miraculously not dead Grand Inquisitor. And they all just got away. He can have a 10 as much as I can, but I'm going to go for the raise anyway, because I don't know if he's re-raising without a full house, and he's definitely not folding an ace, so that's a nice thin value there. Ace, 9. Two pair counterfeited. Really no reason to continue. Let's go ahead and bet. Three bet here. And this player also just called me twice on value bets, so who knows. Let me check this one. It's going to be good a lot. He's going to have king-queen. Really? Right. This is kind of odd. Does he ever have two pair here? He has the eight. This is annoying. Perfect setup, too, because the guy I just bluffed at him twice and checked the river. That looks super weak there. Oh, that's pretty good. That's not bad either. People just don't bluff. I'm just going to give that up. He's under the gun. He should have a lot of kings. This is river bet. Young Luke in his bed. I mean, uh, we can't fold just because he can have some aces. It's like a five or nothing. Ah, same hand. I guess that makes sense. Okay, skip to the next. Episode six. And some of these tables are just not getting it done. Oh, it's an amazing series. It was really well done. I loved how they made Obi-Wan just so fucking PTSD'd and fucking defeated. 
Easy three bet. Everybody on the fucking dark side sounds like they're giving a speech every time they talk. Grand Inquisitor, Reva, all these people are. Inform Lord Vader that we have Kenobi at our will. And it's just like, what the fuck? Meanwhile, the fucking Jedis are just like, hey, let's get out of here. I mean, I guess we just keep calling here. Until this guy does something. That spade's not great. Yeah, this lead out. Nines? What the fuck are you calling for? Oh my god, this guy called? How did I just get bluffed there? That guy called with sevens after leading the whole way. Why? Why? And when this guy calls, it's like, oh my god. It's like he's supposed to have minimum of flush. How did I get beat here? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. That's 15 kinds of dumbass. Alright, well we flopped the straight this time. Let's just raise. Come on, buddy. You know you wanna. Yeah, you do. That nine sucks. I'm gonna check and try to get bluffed. Sometimes he's gonna have a queen. A lot of times he's gonna have flush draws. But I don't think we're folding here. I'm just going to check it back. Yeah, he's king. That, that card really killed my fucking action. A guy who's going to call just the over cards. Like, I can't hit a fucking king on the turn. raise a re-raise and the cold call we're obviously priced to hit a seven it's a great way to get bucking busted bro this player playing everything Trying to get the money in. It's ridiculous. And he's under the gun. That's the best part. He's under the gun with that. Ugh, it's frustrating. He just opens it, we flop trips, and he has fucking six, seven under the gun.
I think uh, yeah, let me kill that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the stream. I may come back later, um, but I'm uh, fairly tired and need to take the dogs out and all that. So I'll tell you guys where I'm at in a minute. Took a couple beats there right at the end, but still ending up profitable here. That sucks though. Uh -huh. Yeah. So 766 about. So what is that? That's a that sucks. That's a buy-in and a half. It was up five buy-ins, but then uh, two coolers. But that's the way it goes. But not bad. Still uh, profitable. Um, I may be back in like an hour or so, but I'm kind of tired. So if not, then I'll see you guys in the morning. And uh, I'll see if I can find a host for you guys. Uh, have a great night.